students welcome to Gautam Brothers the Unschoolers today i'm going to share some amazing facts about the sun the sun our thermonuclear power plant i wonder if you have ever thought about life without the sun i bet most of you haven't so let's take a moment and try to imagine what it would be like without the sun Well, in my opinion, most likely life on earth wouldn't even evolve. I bet even earth wouldn't evolve. There would be no solar system. And by solar system, I don't just mean Mercury, Venus, earth again, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and all their moons. I also mean no asteroids, no dwarf planets, no Oort cloud in this region of the Milky Way galaxy. So I hope you understand by now that no sun means no life. The sun is indeed very important to us. But what is the sun? How does it shine? How long has it been shining for? How long will it continue to shine? What will happen when it stops shining? If that ever happens, there are so many such questions that cross my mind. Let's try and find answers to some of these questions. Astronomically speaking, our sun is a yellow dwarf star, which means that it is a medium-sized star, which also means that there are stars bigger than our sun. And yes, they are really huge. I will be talking more about this later. For now, let's focus on our sun. Well, the sun is about 1.4 million kilometers wide and it's a dense ball of plasma which is made up of super hot gases like hydrogen and helium. They are so hot that electrons are ripped away from the atoms forming an ionized gas. Amazing, isn't it? The plasma we talked about earlier is also known as the fourth state of matter. The sun is the greatest source of light and energy on which depends the very existence of life on earth. And so, we worship the sun during various festivals celebrated in different parts of India. Yay! Makar Sankranti, Lori, Pongal, Rath, Saptami, Chat Puja, etc. In order to see there must be light. Light shines on an object, then bounces off or reflects back to our eyes. Our eyes are sensitive to a certain kind of light called visible light. Visible light is all the colors, red, yellow, blue, green, orange, etc. Do you know that light or visible light is actually absorbed electromagnetic radiation? Yes, it is the part that can be perceived by our eyes. But there are many other kinds of light that we can not see. Like for example, radio waves, gamma rays, UV rays, etc. On a bright sunny day, the sun is the best source of light unless you are hiding in a cave or sleeping very, very late. Have you ever wondered how long it takes for light to reach us? I am sure most of you would say 8 minutes and 21 seconds. But guess what? That's only after the light has been emitted from the surface of the sun. What? You would say. So, where else is the light supposed to come from? To tell you the truth, light and energy is produced by a very powerful interaction at the core of the sun called fusion. This occurs naturally when two atoms are heated and compressed so intensely that they merge to form a new element. This process often leads to the creation of particles of light called photons. Now, It's a very, very long journey for these particles before they can even exit the surface of the sun. This journey could take anywhere from 40,000 to a million years to reach the surface of the sun. Though the journey is pretty quick afterwards to reach us. (sighs) I feel like this video is never going to end. Considering there is so much to learn about the sun. So before ending this video, Here are some interesting facts in short. It takes sunlight about 3 minutes to reach Mercury, whereas it takes about 4 hours and 15 minutes for Neptune. The sun is 109.2 times larger than the Earth. 
Like Earth, the Sun also rotates as it orbits the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Since the Sun is not a solid body, different parts of the Sun rotate at different rates. That twists the Sun like a rubber band. It was only in 2010 that NASA started observing the Sun in HD. By the way, that's 1920 by 1080 pixels. Stars, like our Sun, burn for about 9 or 10 billion years. So, our Sun is about halfway through its life. So, it still has about 5 billion years to go. Remember we said that the Sun is a medium-sized star? And there are many bigger stars than the Sun. But let me tell you about the biggest known star. It's called Stephenson 218. Stephenson 218 has an estimated radius of 2150 solar radii. It's so huge that if it replaced the Sun in our solar system, it would extend past the orbits of Saturn. Phew! All that was so fascinating. I hope you liked the video. Bye friends.